right, well, hello, my name is Ben Kunko with UNCG's Office of Waste Reduction and Recycling. Coming to you with uh, Alex from the City of Greensboro. I'm Alex Arnett with the City of Greensboro. I'm a Waste Reduction Supervisor. So between us, uh, we, we are your commingled recycling gurus. Uh, I handle UNCG's recycling, and my contractors and my staff bring it to uh, the Material Recovery Facility, the MRF, that the city of Greensboro contracts with. Mm -hmm. So um, sitting down uh, a couple of years ago in 2013, uh, the commingled recycling guidelines on campus changed, they expanded. Um, so this video, we're gonna clarify some of those changes for you. Um, as always, all of the uh, bins on campus uh, have my contact information on them. Uh, recycle at uncg.edu or 336 And when in doubt, call and find out. But hopefully this video will, uh, will help shed some light on the recent uh, expansion of our Coleman Recycling Program. Uh, one of the big ones that I'm really excited about in our residence halls is pizza box recycling. Um, the pizza boxes do have to be empty. Uh, uh, no more cheese, you know, scrape the cheese off, uh, don't leave the crust in there, but the pizza boxes are recyclable with our commingled recycling program. Um, and uh, another big change was uh, plastics. In the past we were um, taking basically uh, two types of plastics and, that's, and expanded to uh, all bottles and jugs. Uh, regardless of number, uh, we used to focus on numbers one and two in the past, um, but now the focus is on plastic uh, bottles and jugs. Um, and a big change with the plastics is now the facility wants the bottle caps on the containers. In the past, we were telling people to remove the bottle caps from the plastic containers, uh, but now we want the, the caps on them. Can you go into why that is? Yeah, so recycling is a really dynamic industry. It's always changing. Uh, certain changes have happened in the way that plastics are processed and also in the way that those bottles and jugs are made. The actual pop itself on your plastic bottle has changed over the last several years. So now whenever you have a plastic item with some type of plastic lid, we ask that you attach it back and recycle it all together. Yeah, so keep the bottle caps on. Make sure you empty the bottle, empty the contents before you put it in the bin. Uh, but put the cap back on because that helps with the processing of that material with, with the cap on it. Um, so that's a big change. Uh, along with plastic, something that I've always had questions about from people in the offices is yogurt containers. Yogurt containers obviously need to be uh, empty and the um, foil removed and trashed, but the yogurt containers are now recyclable with our commingled recycling program. So that's really exciting for those that enjoy a, a morning yogurt. Um, so um, some of the things that haven't changed um, that I really wanted to focus on on this video is styrofoam. Uh, styrofoam is polystyrene is a number six plastic. Um, LDPE, uh, which a lot of our plastic bags are made from, uh, is, a, is a type four plastic. Uh, Plastic bags and styrofoam uh, are not recyclable with the Comingo program still. That has not changed. So any kind of plastic bag, uh, while it can be recycled at uh, big box stores, Walmart, Target, Harris Teeter, Food Lion, they have uh, uh, bins there for recycling plastic bags. Um, however, with our Comingo recycling program um, and City Greensboro's recycling program that we, that we use, uh, plastic bags are not to be included with that. Uh, and styrofoam, uh, any kind of styrofoam, a clamshell container or a drink cup, is not to be included. Yeah, I would say that that's the number one thing that tends to throw people off because those items do have that recycling triangle on there. Really all that does, that number, tells you what kind of plastic that item is made of. It doesn't necessarily mark it as recyclable or not. Um, another thing I'd like to mention about the bags a lot of people like to store their recyclables in bags, but whenever possible, it's best for us to recycle those items loose. So if you can, just dump out that bag into the big recycling container and uh, throw the plastic bag away, or even better, take it back to a grocery store. Yeah, and that's a big problem uh, on our camp, especially in the residence hall areas. People will take a Target, Walmart, Harris Teeter bag and 
package the recycling up in it, tie it up, then that gets placed in a container that has another bag, and then that gets into another bag. So it, it, it causes a lot of uh, problems at the material recovery facility. So please, like you said, keep your recyclables loose in the container. Um, and uh, another change uh, was with uh, glass containers. Uh, like say for a spaghetti jar, black spaghetti jar. Um, while with the plastic containers, we want you to keep the lid on, uh, the glass container, we want you to take the lid off. The lid is recyclable, uh, it just needs to be taken off the container. Um, so it's some exciting changes. I think the yogurt and the pizza boxes are, I think most people will be excited to hear that we can accept with our uh, Coney Lid Recycling Program. Uh, if you work um, in the offices here on campus, um, just want to let you know that um, the, off the recycling container that's by your desk, we call those desk side bins, uh, you should have a trash one and a recycling one. In the past, we only wanted office paper in the office, in that smaller uh, desk side bin. Um, but we were transitioning those containers into commingled containers to uh, make it more convenient for you recycle your um, your items that you may have in your office so you can still put your office paper in those um, office paper is perfectly fine to be put into our commingled recycling uh, bins however we don't uh, UNCG doesn't benefit from the revenue from collecting office paper separately so office paper really is more focused on uh, the break rooms where your mail comes in and printer rooms where you're, we have printing and uh, copying so still utilize the office paper recycling in those areas. Um, but I appreciate y'all's time. Appreciate Alex's time for coming out to visit us. And uh, just when in doubt, call and find out. Thank you, Alex. Thank you.